Hi guys, so today's video is all about how to get a fun, bouncy ponytail using our clip-in extensions. And this is actually the way that I like to do my fun little ponytails because I have really thin hair and I can never get it like this. And I don't like those clip-in ponytails. I just like, mm. and then um, like the actual ponytails. I just feel like they never look real. And I don't want people to know that my ponytail is mostly fake. So this is how I like to do my ponytails. So if you'd like to learn how to do this fun little trick, it's great for fine hair, as you guys know me. I have the finest hair on the planet. So this is a great way to incorporate your natural hair. It's super easy, it's super comfortable. So let's get started. Okay, so getting started, as you guys can see, I have my thin hair and all my glory. And it's growing, believe it or not, slowly but surely. I just started taking my biotin again, so we'll see. Uh, some results soon. So for this fun ponytail, I love to do this because it gives me that fun, bouncy, cheerleader type ponytail and I'm so jealous of all of my beautiful ladies that have nice thick hair. So I'm gonna start out, these are just my Bellamy extensions and these are actually the very first pair I ever bought. So wearing them in my hair now, they're just kind of, I have put them through everything. I have colored them and cut them a lot and washed them a lot. So they're getting just a little bit, but they're great for this. So I'm gonna start out and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually just gonna add a little bit of curl in here. So I'm using my Marcel curling iron. And I'm curling it before just to, just for fun, instead of having to reach back there and curl everything. So go ahead and curl these. I'm actually only gonna be using, I think two wefts today, so um, for a ponytail, you don't need to use a lot of extra hair, especially when you have thin hair, like me. And I don't have a lot of room to be putting them up there. So go ahead and curl your extensions and we'll go to the next step. Okay, so now that we have our extensions curled, we're actually gonna go ahead and we're gonna section out this crown section back here. You wanna figure out where you wanna put your ponytail. All right, so I usually section it right out here on my crown. All right, so you can see we just have a nice little little pony here. And then I'm going to take my other hair and clip that out of the way so that we can see what's going on here. Okay, so we have our nice little section. Okay, and we're gonna put that into a rubber band. Oh. Broke that one. It doesn't have to be super tight. You just want to make it so that you can uh, clip in extensions around that. Okay. So let me move this up a little bit. All right. So now you can see we have this cute little rubber band. Now we're going to take our first section. So I have these curled, just a really loose curl because I just want like a fun little bouncy. Style. So I'm actually going to brush through those, just give them a little bit of a, a little shake. And now, right where you have this section, you're going to go around the ponytail. So I'll take this next one, clip it around underneath. Making sure you don't get any pieces caught in there. And then you're gonna take that one, and go underneath that side. So now we're starting our base for our ponytail. Now we're gonna do the same thing with it. All right, so then we're gonna take our next section. I clipped this out of the way so you guys could see just a little bit better. So now I'm gonna take, this one has three clips. And see, they're already layered too, but for a ponytail, that's not really gonna matter very much. I'm just looking for some extra bounce. So with this one, I'm gonna go right in that same area and find a little home for these guys. So I'm going around. So now we've put both on there, so I'll give you kind of this full spin so you can see. It doesn't have to be pretty. This is going to be covered up, but you can see we're getting our little ponytail action there 
So please don't leave it like this and walk outside, okay? This is, this is a secret. All right, so then what I'm gonna do, because my hair is so thin, I actually like to kind of tease my hair just a little bit. So this is just a teasing brush, so I'm just gonna go through, kind of fluff. This is an optional um, deal. You don't have to, you don't have to tease. I just like for my ponytails to look as voluminous as possible. So lovely. All right, so when you're looking super fabulous, I'm actually gonna take this section that was out and I'm gonna put a little curl in there. It's just so that it'll blend. All right, eh? So now, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take my this is my Kenra, I see it? Kenra Ultra Freeze Spray, which is my favorite. And I'm going to spray all around my edges here, get everything going in that general direction. I'm even gonna spray underneath. And then I'm going to smooth using my teasing brush. All right, now we are ready to put this all into our ponytail. All right, so we're gonna take just a big elastic here. I'm just gonna wrap that around. And now we have this cute, really fun, bouncy ponytail that looks el naturel. And so I'm just gonna go through, and I always kind of get my little wispies going in the right direction there. And then I'll pull out a little, a little volume there. Now if you have the, I'll give you a little spin. nice and fun and you're gonna be feeling extra extra bippity boppity during the day like I do because it's exciting to have a fun ponytail and it doesn't give that fake effect like when you use like an actual clip-in ponytail it's actually you're pulling your hair up in here with it and everything looks nice and natural so we'll go through and kind of create a little bit extra volume around now with the bottom section, you can either use some bobby pins and reach around here to clip these guys up, or you can use a headband. I actually had a gold headband to show you guys that was really cute, but um, of course, typical Devin misplaced it. So we'll use instant facelift. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this bad boy on. And now you can do a fun headband. It keeps all of these little back pieces up out of the way, and you have a fun, cute style. So you can kind of just fluff this around, do whatever you want with this, and have fun with it. And now you have big, fun hair, and you can wear it to the gym, it looks super cute. So hope you guys like the tip for today, and have a fabulous day.